Snapdragon chipsets are the go-to chipsets for most manufacturers and the 700 series are like the upper tier for mid-range chipsets. One of the 700 series chip which is Snapdragon 710 is widely used while I have not seen Snapdragon 712 in action which however is a minor upgrade over Snapdragon 710. And there is also Snapdragon 730 which is new so why not compare Snapdragon 710 with Snapdragon 730. And that will be coming right after this. Let's start with the manufacturing process used in both of them. Snapdragon 710 uses 10 nanometer low powered early node build by Samsung and for Snapdragon 730 it uses 8 nanometer process by Samsung. The 8 nanometer LPP uses 10% less power than the 10 nanometer LPE. Moreover, the former one has 10% less surface area. The CPU is where these two chipsets are far apart. The Snapdragon 710 consists of two big cores and six little cores to have a right blend of performance and power consumption. The two A75 Cryo 360 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and six A55 Cryo 360 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. Whereas Snapdragon 730 has the same cluster distribution of 2 plus 6 that is 2 high powered and 6 low powered. But the Cryo cores and the clock speed has been increased. The two A76 Cryo 470 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz and the six A55 Cryo 470 cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. This renders 35% leap in performance. The smaller process should also make them significantly more power efficient. This makes Snapdragon 730 to have a more powerful CPU than Snapdragon 710. Before we dive in GPU performance, let me make it clear about Snapdragon 730. It has two variant, the Snapdragon 730 and 730G, where G stands for gaming. Even though Snapdragon 730 and 730G have same Adreno 618 GPU, but the 730G has Snapdragon Elite Gaming that debuted with the high-end Snapdragon 855. And in addition to that, the Snapdragon 730G has an overclocked GPU. So that makes Snapdragon 730G much optimized for gaming. Now that's out of the way, let's compare Snapdragon 710 with Snapdragon 730. For Snapdragon 710, it has Adreno 616 and Snapdragon 730 has Adreno 618. Now there is no way to tell you the difference, but I will show you the undo to scores for GPU. And it stands something like this, Snapdragon 730G scores 66,398, Snapdragon 730 scores 63,878 and Snapdragon 710 scores 47,736. So basically graphics performance for Adreno 618 GPU on Snapdragon 730G and 730 will be 25% faster as compared to Adreno 616 on Snapdragon 710. Coming to AI, this is where Snapdragon 730 shines. To tell you in simple words, the Snapdragon 730G and Snapdragon 730 offer 2x faster AI processing. It has a 4th generation Qualcomm AI engine that provides on-device interactions for gaming, voice and security. The new AI engine works alongside the Qualcomm's Hexagon 688 CPU that has a Hexagon Tensor Accelerator for dedicated AI processing. Snapdragon 710 has a third generation AI engine that incorporates several modules specifically for speeding up AI processing, including a Hexagon 685 DSP. But Snapdragon 730 is by far better than Snapdragon 710 in AI performance. Coming to cameras, the Spectra 350 Dual 14-bit ISP that's used in Snapdragon 730 chipset supports up to 192MP camera sensor. It is also the first Snapdragon 700 series chipset which support for computer vision image signal processor and it supports hybrid autofocus. It supports up to 22MP dual camera or 36MP single camera with multi-frame noise reduction. and zero shutter lag. There is support for a 48 megapixel single camera setup with zero shutter lag as well. 
The Spectra 250 ISP found in Snapdragon 710 enhances low light images and can support single 25 megapixel sensor or dual 16 megapixel sensors. That support for a 48 megapixel single camera setup with zero shutter lag as well. Apart from that, there is also support for 192 megapixel single camera. Now let's take a look at modem and connectivity. Both of the chipsets feature the same connectivity features with Snapdragon X15 LTE modem. Download speed is up to 800 Mbps and upload is up to 150 Mbps. And Wi-Fi 6 is only available for Snapdragon 730 and 730G and it's not found in Snapdragon 710. Now let's see the display support. This is where it gets interesting. As you can see Snapdragon 710 and Snapdragon 730G supports Quad HD+, Plus, HDR10, 3360 x 1440 resolution and what's interesting is Snapdragon 730 has full HD that is 18 is to 9 ratio that is 2520 x 1080 resolution. So only Snapdragon 730 has been left out from Quad HD Plus display support, maybe because of more power saving. And with that we have come to an end of this video, so if you have any questions or want any comparison then comment below. With that being said, I am Satej and see you in another video. Peace out.